Good evening, panel of experts. Now, tonight, for the first time, we have two sisters competing in the SWAN program. Let's start off by surprising the younger sister, Carrie. Now, bear in mind that she has absolutely no idea that her older sister will also be selected. Watch this. I am Carrie Bravada. My sister is the one that told me about the audition. She's my sister, my best friend, and as sisters, we tried out together. I have a surprise for you. You're gonna be a swan. No. What about my sister? If she doesn't want me to do it, I can't do this without her. I need to know that she's okay with it. I know that my sister hasn't been chosen, and I have. I'm so proud of you. From the very beginning, I wanted it for both of us. You go there and you kick butt. And I don't want my hurt to come through because I want her to be happy. Anything I've ever done, big or small, if she didn't do it with me, she's there talking me through it. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna be very hard. When I first started high school, everything was great. I was very active, I was a dancer and a cheerleader, and I was happy with myself and how I looked. All of a sudden, I show up my sophomore year as this woman. I was 16 years old with double D breasts, and it ruined everything. Dancers aren't built this way, so I had to drop out of a lot of things. It's something that you love and it's like being taken away from you and you can't control it. Um, the number one thing that made Carrie insecure as a teenager was her breasts. Carrie is definitely isolating herself because of her insecurities and uses me, I think, as a crutch to lean on. Mom and I share an office and it's a little box. It's just my desk and her desk. I like to work outdoors and work with dancers or cheerleaders. or but. Because my chest is so big, it hurts my back, it gives me headaches, I physically can't. I gained a lot of weight and that makes you feel worse about yourself. And it really ruined how I feel about my body. I want to start over and I want to be comfortable and healthy. And I know that being a swan can do that. Okay, well, Dr. Hayworth, I assume you'll be performing a breast reduction on her. Disproportionate large breasts can negatively impact upon a woman's self-confidence, and Carrie is no exception to that rule. She needs total body liposuction, and hopefully this will jumpstart her total transformation. She's got a lot of interesting work that needs to be done on her face, including endoscopic brow lift. I perform a rhinoplasty on her, and we have to excavate her beauty and bring it to the surface. And Debbie? She's not going to have her sister and her mother, so I'm hoping that she's going to find that strength within herself because I'm going to need her in the gym six days a week and working hard because she's got a lot of weight to lose in a small amount of time. Dr. Yanni? This is a huge step for her to be independent and separate instead of being enmeshed with both her mother and her sister. We have to help her get to a place of being independently confident and getting a sense of autonomy. Well, Carrie said she desperately wants to start over. Do you think we can help oh, her? Absolutely. Definitely. Let's review her plan. Carrie's swan plan will begin with a nose job, brow lift, lower eye lift, lip augmentation, liposuction to her cheeks and chin, and LASIK eye surgery. For her body, she'll have breast reduction and liposuction in seven different areas. Carrie's dental plan will include gum tissue recontouring, bleaching, da Vinci veneers, and deep cleaning. For her fitness transformation, Carrie will spend two hours a day, six days a week at the gym, focusing on weight training to define her body and cardio to help her lose weight. A 1,200 calorie a day diet will help boost her metabolism. To help Carrie build her self-esteem and learn how to become an independent person, she will undergo weekly therapy and coaching. The sister's surprise reunion is still months away. Now it's Carrie's turn to learn what's in store for her physical transformation. The size and shape of Carrie's breasts give her this top-heavy appearance. It makes her look shorter and stockier. Your breast size is your most troubling yes. thing. Do you have bad back pain? Do you and neck, neck too. pain, shoulder pain? Yeah, and I get headaches. Okay. okay. Why don't I have you stand up and let's have a look at your breasts here. I'm going to give you a breast reduction and that'll give you a lot of relief from the pain you're having. And so if we get to a mid-C, that's going to make you happy. So happy. She's on the verge of looking masculine and I need to feminize her face. Look how full your face is here. It needs definition. Yeah. We have to give your nose a waist 
and just make it delicate. Okay? Sounds good. Look forward to see you Thank soon. Thank you. Okay, bye. I'm a little more nervous than I thought I was gonna be. Just do it. I don't wanna know the details, but I'm so excited. Carrie is ready to begin a challenging program. Carrie is ready to be prepped for her surgery. You're already a pretty girl, and all we need to do is to just enhance. I don't think I'm gonna miss this body at all. I'm ready to go to sleep now. I feel like I'm on nip <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> We're going to start off with some liposuction. I'm just here to refine what she has. Carrie's liposuction went very, very smoothly. We're going to now do the lower eye surgery. I'm taking out the fat pad that hides underneath the cheekbone. We're trying to go and bring some highlights to her face. Carrie's surgery is running smoothly. Me? Carrie, can you hear me? <coughs> Carrie? Squeeze my hand. Hi, you're just waking up. Squeeze my hand. Carrie, can you hear me? Carrie had some trouble coming out of anesthesia, so until we do some further testing, I don't know if it's going to be possible to perform her breast reduction. Carrie was excited to begin her program, but difficulty waking up from surgery <coughs> Carrie. has put her transformation in jeopardy. Carrie had some trouble coming out of anesthesia, so until we do some further testing, I don't know if it's going to be possible to perform her breast reduction. Dr. Hayworth pays Carrie a visit to discuss what went wrong. Carrie, how are you? Uh, great, how are you? God, big change from last night. I know. You had some trouble waking up last night. Right, what happened? You yeah. were like really sleepy and then when you started to fall asleep then your oxygen saturation would drop. I knew I had snoring problems, but that's all I knew. I think Carrie has a breathing disorder when she's asleep. So this could make putting her under anesthesia and performing her breast reduction too dangerous. I'm gonna have you see one of our doctor specialists. Okay. Carrie's surgical plan is now on hold. Meanwhile, Carrie begins her sleep testing, anxious to learn if she will be cleared for surgery. I have to get this breast reduction. It's the one thing I've wanted my whole life. It's what I've wanted for 10 years. Carrie will be monitored overnight to determine if she has a breathing disorder. Having all this stuff hooked up to me makes me really nervous, but I'm willing to do anything to get my breast reduction. After a fitful night, Carrie awaits the results of her testing. Hello? I've got your results from the sleep apnea clinic. Okay, and? You are cleared for surgery. Oh my God, thank you so much. So we can go ahead and get your breast reduction tomorrow. Thank you, Dr. Hayworth. This is like the best news I've ever heard. <laughs> I can't wait to start my new life. Finally, it's actually happening. Carrie is ready for her final surgery and calls her mother to share the news. I'm so excited. This is the big one. This is what you've been waiting for. Yep. So then someone will call me afterwards? Yes. Uh, make sure they know to call my cell phone. Even when I eat lunch or anything, I bring my cell phone with me. I know, Mom. Sometimes I think that she doesn't think I can handle it because she has to be there to protect the baby. But hopefully this will show her that I can do it and maybe she'll look at me more like an adult. A little oxygen on you as you're starting to drift off. Okay, now I'm starting the final stage on Carrie, which is the bilateral breast reduction. This is an operation that's complicated because one false move and you can kill the nipple. I think they look very good. What a huge change for Carrie. That's perfect. You have beautiful breasts now. Nice. Oh, this is so soft. I'm winning the pageant. I'm taking it all and I'm bringing it home to my sis. Carrie's in good spirits, but the delay in her surgery means she has a lot of catching up to do. On the Swan. Welcome back to the Swan. Now, it's been a month since we've seen the Bravata sisters and three months since they've seen themselves in a mirror. Now, remember, neither Carrie nor Gina realizes that they're competing against each other for a spot in the pageant. And Carrie doesn't have a clue that Gina is part of the SWAN program. But before their big reveal, let's check in with the team of experts who radically transformed these women. Carrie came to us encumbered by a large chest and
and a weight problem. Dr. Hayworth, she came across some complications in the early stages. How did she deal with that? We uncovered some potentially dangerous medical conditions during Carrie's first surgical stage. However, she handled them as an adult and emerged with a dazzling transformation. Nelly, how do you think she's going to react when she finds out that her big sister Gina is on the program? Well, you know, she's been obsessed with the fact that Gina didn't get to be on the show, and she just is so upset she didn't even want us to mention her. So I can't imagine what's going to happen when she realizes she's been here all along. <laughs> she's going to freak. It'll be a shocker. <laughs> well, we'll see how the younger Bravata sister turned out in just a moment, but first, let's take a look at Carrie when she came to the program three months ago. When I first started high school, everything was great. I was a dancer and a cheerleader. All of a sudden, I show up my sophomore year as this woman. I was 16 years old with double D breasts, and it ruined everything. Dancers aren't built this way, so I had to drop out of a lot of things. It's something that you love, and it's like being taken away from you, and you can't control it. I gained a lot of weight, and that makes you feel worse about yourself. I want to start over, and I want to be comfortable and healthy. Here she is. Please welcome the brand new Carrie Bravata. Incredible. Yeah, and you Nervous. look incredible. Come with me. Wow. Carrie, I honestly can say that you look absolutely nothing like your former self. What have you done with the old Carrie? <laughs> She's out. She's gone. And you're very close to your family. I know that. How have you coped without them over all this time? What really helped is just looking forward and knowing that they were supporting me and that they were just as excited as I was. What do you think they're gonna say when they see you? I don't know if they'll say anything. They're gonna cry. I know it. I'm not gonna make you wait any longer. Okay. Because behind that curtain there's a mirror. You're shaking. I know. <laughs> I'm so excited and nervous and every emotion. Well, in just a moment, I'm gonna ask you to step up to the curtain. Then I'll ask you if you're ready. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and when you say yes, we'll pull back the curtain. You'll be able to see yourself. Okay? Okay. Okay, Carrie? Off you go. Good luck. Okay, Carrie, this is your moment. Are you ready? Let's do it. Oh my god! <laughs> this is so incredible! Oh my God is right. Keep looking. <laughs> What's going through your head right now? I can't believe how small this thing is. <laughs> what about your sister Gina at home? I mean, when you get home to her, what's she going to think? I, she's not going to believe it. This is her dream to see me like glamorous. You have yourself to thank for that, Carrie. You really do. And all these people. Exactly, <laughs> and all these people. So come on in, guys. I was really happy with Carrie's results. She represented one of those quiet but really dramatic transformations. When Carrie walked out, I thought, who is that supermodel? She just looked magnificent. So insane.